So a lot of people are talking about this next story. After 64 years, the Altamont Springs Library, City Library, is closing. Neighbors are trying to keep that from happening, though, and they have started a petition. In a few hours, they'll have a chance to talk about it during a public meeting. But city leaders say they are shutting down the library because of budget constraints. News 6's Catherine Silver spoke to the city manager and people who got to the library last week. This is math. There's not enough money to pay for the stuff that we have to pay for. How does the library serve your life? I bring my children here on a weekly basis. All the homes in our neighborhood are turning over and there's a lot of young families. Yeah. So this is really a terrible time to take away the library. They just spent a lot of money renovating this library just last year. Not a whiff of, hey, we're thinking about closing this down. Mm. Now, if no changes are made, the last day to check out books will be at the end of August. Tonight's meeting starts at 7 o'clock. Uh, so the library has become such, a, you know, an important part of a lot of communities. And people think, oh, it's kids. just for old people, too. No. It's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. So just we actually had a nine-year-old girl reach out to us asking us to help save the library. A nine-year-old. So she sent us this beautiful oh. letter. Troy Campbell's going to be talking to her a little bit later on, but her name is Audrey. She sends this beautiful letter. She says, I met, this is for Candace. She sent a Candace this letter. I mm -hmm. met you at Lake Lily Park, Maitland, when I was four years old. Did you remember that I asked you to bring your yellow flowers to Ginger and Lisa? <laughs> I am nine years old now. She goes on to say, I'm writing because I'm having a problem with the library closing. She even wrote a letter to one of the commissioners. Look at, yeah, can I show you this penmanship? On. It is just, look at, I want yeah. you to look at Audrey and I want you to think about kids who love books. I'm one of those people. I, I have a little library at my I'm home. I'm with you. Yeah, and yes, you do. I just think she is an example of who we have in this community. What and you can we, learn at a library. What we can, <laughs> if we can win this library back for the people of Altamont, yeah. right, we will have a lifelong viewer and Audrey, her kids, and generations to come because. They'll remember this for, I'm so passionate I about this. I, I really want to meet her. Troy's going to be talking to her later. I don't want to put any pressure on you, but it feels like you have to save this library, Ginger. I will do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I just love that she wrote this letter, took the time to do it all, and got there to meet the people. There are pictures on here. Yeah. It's beautifully done. I hope she's watching right now because she probably is. So uh, we will do our best. For you, I wish Audrey. she would teach my kids how to have penmanship like this. You don't even have well. penmanship I like don't. that. <laughs> yeah. All right.